what is it now? What is it? Eh? What, what, is, it? Hmm? what is it now? Talk! I'm not so sure of what I saw, but what I beheld is more scary than death itself. For three market days now you have been having these awful dreams. Because of our forefathers, what do you want to reveal to us? What do you want to reveal to us? Please, God of our forefathers, please protect us. Please protect your children. Mama, yeah? can we start going home now that the sky is in our favor? Do you want us to go home? Yes. Okay, let's go home. Pack all the things, let's go. Just like that. Yes, let's go. Cheta, why did you allow your heart to skip? Come, come, let's go. Let's go, let's go. What are you looking at? Don't you know that your consistent look on her condition will make her uncomfortable? It is not her wish to be in that condition, thanks to the gods that she survived. I wish to reveal to them that calamity awaits their family and it will not take long. <laughs> what calamity are you talking about? What could that be? Hey, what is wrong with this girl? You know, I hate to bring you out like one possessed by an Obanji. Mazida, my good friend, I greet you. Thank you so much. As a man, I can never only go to the Akide. Of my, I go to the Akide. They will. I am yet to find a friend who will take your place in my heart. Mazida, your Loyalty is total. And I thank the gods, and I'm so delighted in the gods for making me to find you in my lifetime. Thank you, Ezebo Mwadu. Uh, thank you very much, my king. You know, we have been friends right from infancy. Before the gods crowned you what you are today and made you above every other one. Oh, it's open. As you know, uh, it's a very snatch. Please, my king, just accept this little token of mine. Take me the way I am. Thank you. Thank you. May the gods bless the land where you plant your seed. Uh, there is no doubt that the gods have pledged you far above every other farmer in this land. Mazibe, your gifts are highly appreciated. Thank you so much. God! My king, take those things. Mm 
long you be here, where is the crown? My son, my prince, the strength of my youth. You are a gift from the gods. <laughs> I have no doubt in my heart that my people will be safe in your hands when I join my ancestors. Uh, my heart is always filled with joy. Any time I set my eyes on you, my son. <laughs> Thank you very much, Father. A lion will never give birth to a sheep. In my next life, I shall return to you as a child. Because you are the best father. That's my son. Long live your highness. Mazibe. Greetings. Hello. Prince Duch. You see, your father the king has been my very long friend. And uh, it gives me joy to sit and watch you grow into a man. Your father is bold and fearless like a lion. And I'm happy that you've taken to your father's heart too. Coming from you, Mazibe, my heart is filled with joy. Thank you very much. Father, I want to journey to Obaku River. I shall return. The gods be with you, my son. Consequences await anyone that defy the ordinances of Osepulowa. For when the reward will come, there shall be no hiding place for you. Nemesis has got up to you, and the penalty to your evil ways is death. Chita, Chita, my child, why have you given yourself to fear? I, I know it has not been easy for you since the trauma with Agri. But I also know that it was the gods and the gods alone that saved you. And they alone know their reasons for doing that. Eh? Nem, please, this will not, should not dement you. It should not. You have to please let go of this fear and live a normal life. Mama, mm -hmm. my fear is not of the encounter that took my leg. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what is it? What is it that troubles my baby? What is it? It's about you and Baraoka. Me? Yes. And Oka? Yes. What is it all about? Few days before Papa died, I had a... A terrible dream. And after some market days, Papa died mysteriously. And same dream has repeated itself again. And this time, Mama, it is very scary. Mama, I think we are in trouble. My child, I am a blameless person. I live a very blameless life. Ah, and I also know that your brother too, is a good child. So, whatever it is, let us look unto the gods. They are going to protect us, whatever it is. Hmm? Hmm? 
I see a lot of fears in you. Please, my child, please. Let go of these fears. Let's go. Let's go inside so that you can eat. Your food is ready. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Get on. Prince of Umudibi Kingdom, may you fulfill your days on earth. Mm. The gods blessed you with extraordinary beauty. Thank you. Thank you. My prince, please be careful not to meet your end as you journey to Obaku River. Evil looms. What do you see? None that I know of. I only speak what I hear, my brains. Please mind your steps. Send one in ghost to your cats. Go well, my brains. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Who is she? I don't know her, my prince. She speaks in a very strange language. We should, we should just speak. Should we obey her and return to the palace? No, my prince. Don't let the word of a woman put fear in your mind. Let's proceed. Elders of our land, it is yet another planting season, and it's time for us to offer our sacrifices to our gods for a bountiful harvest. My prince, what is the noise out there? Father, I would have been dead by now. No! May the gods forbid. The prince of our land cannot go to his early grave like that. The gods will not allow this to happen. Yes, Something strange will happen at the work river, which almost destroyed me. What? But one of my guards took his life to save mine. He did? Yes. No. No. Gods of our land. What is the meaning of all this? Who, who is after me and my household? Igwe, this is very strange. Igwe, I think you should console the gods and find out what this means. Yes. The sign is not clear to me at all. They're taking one of my guards and attempting the life of my prince. I think I have to consult the gods to find out what has brought this evil to our land. Gods. My king. Yes, my king. We must pay our last respect to the fallen guard. 
by committing him to Mother Earth. So do that. I will consider it a sacrilege if you hide yourself from me. I need to have a word with you. My prince, should I force her out? No. It's wrong to keep the prince waiting. Please, my prince, has my child stepped on a wrong ground that aggravated the royal house? Please, I beg of you to find it in your heart to forgive her. Please. Step aside, woman. I am not here for you. My child, what have you done this time? Do you want to send me to my early grave? Do you? Mother, I did nothing to offend the gods or anyone in this land. You did nothing to offend the gods or anyone. Are you aware that I almost died? Hmm? Huh. My prince. Please. Please spare, spare her life. She is all I have left. Please. Please. Why didn't you insist I shouldn't go to that river after you saw the danger ahead? Why? Who am I? A male woman to stop the prince and the future king of this land not to take his bed. My death will be disastrous than one Ogugu, the ghost of thunder. Please, my prince, do not punish me because of that. I want to know the kind of person you are. In fact, I want to know you better. Follow me, we need to talk. Most times when I see young men like you do this type of work, it makes me to remember my youth days. <laughs> Nine. Just as life is parted into three stages. Hmm? I hope that one day we we'll also get to your level. May the gods bless you. Thank you May the gods bless you. I was just passing by when I now saw you. So let me just uh, walk along. Let me see a friend, eh? so that uh, I won't distract you. Because I know you need a lot of concentration for this type of work. Nah, yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> Watch your legs, so that you don't uh, enjoy yourself. I will, and I. 
May the gods go with you. You should go. All right, man. Had it been you heard I'm dead, what would have been your reaction? Nothing. I would have also considered you to be among those who see no value in a word of a woman. Are you sick? Don't you have respect? How dare you talk to your crown prince in such manner? Anger is the most dangerous weapon that destroys every man. You need to deal with your temper and put things into consideration. That's if you must sit on your father's throne. Who are you? A simple medal without value. You speak with so much wisdom. I wish to know you better. My prince, you need to put ears to every wise counsel. That's an attribute of a good king. Please, my prince, I need to go and see my mother. I will let you go on one condition. Make sure you answer me anytime I send for you. As it pleases the Prince of Omodibi Kingdom, I shall take my leave. Go. Getting used to your normal self. <laughs> Welcome, Mama. Thank you, my daughter, my beautiful daughter. <laughs> my beautiful daughter. <laughs> I love you so much. I know that the gods have something in store for you. I know. You see, I am very, very happy that you are now getting used to your condition. I am happy about it. And you are getting back to your normal life. <laughs> the gods will always bless you. You say, I believe the gods have good plans for me and I can't wait to see what they have in stock for of me. Of course, I know too, Dad. I know, I know. Your brother has not come back. No, he's not back yet. Hey, Mama, huh? I heard that the prince lost one of his guards in a mysterious way. Do you know the story behind it? My dear daughter, just what you heard, that was what I heard. I heard that that evil enchantment was meant for the prince. But it caught the, the guard. And the father, you know him now. He said he's not going to stop at anything. That he must find out who was responsible yes. for it. He said that. But uh, up to now, now we have not heard about uh, what he, his plans are. Nem. Let's go inside and rest. My dear, we don't even know what witchcraft is. Yes, and witchcraft does not know us. Did you cook anything? Hmm. Trust me, Mama, now. Trust yes, me. Yes. But first of all, let me go and wash this fruit for you. <laughs> okay. Go and rest. Thank you, my daughter. I'm coming. Okay.
guy the hero. Saving your life was the best he could do. And my ordering that he be buried in the palace burial ground is a sign that his sacrifice is well accepted. And the gods will accept him in peace. You say... There's nothing we can do now to bring him back to life. I should have listened to a wise counsel. What wise counsel, my son? A maiden told me about the danger that awaits me on my way to Abak River. But I did not take her serious because she's a woman. Oh. Come on, my son. We need to deliberate on the words of the woman. Come on. Let's go. Saying that he left the palace, the prince, to come here to see you. It <laughs> is only the sick that goes to the herbalist for solution. I was so scared when I heard about the death of his guard and how he died. It all played back to my head as you warned about the calamity that would befall them on their way to the stream. I was even thinking they would accuse you of their misfortune. My hands are no not evil and my heart is very pure. If he had listened to my instructions, that would not happen to him. But he neglected my words because it's the voice of a woman. I'm happy you learned this lesson from your hard way. The king seeks for your presence in the palace at once. Ah, what is our offense that our presence is needed? We never insulted anyone. Neither have we practiced witchcraft. So we are not here for you, young woman. She is the one we can for, and she must go with us at once. Greetings. What is going on here? Huh? The king seeks for the presence of your child, and she's going with us right now. The king seeks the presence of my child? I, I mean, what has she done? We are the ordinary messengers of the king and we must follow the instructions given to us by the king. And I will advise you not to attempt, stop us, or think of following us to the palace at once. Our time is far spent. Come on, I don't trouble your sex. I'll meet you back soon. Aloma, don't worry, just go home. I'm coming back. Ah. Hi. Young girl, what name do you bear? My father gave me the name Ndochi before his death. Hmm. My son, the prince, told me tales about you and I decided to call you and ask you if you know anything about the death of my God. I know nothing about his death. I only told the prince the evil I saw that awaits him on his way. I even warned that he returns back to the palace but my word holds no water because I'm a woman. So he continued his journey. I'm glad he's not the one that passed on because it's actually meant for him. Are you saying that someone wants my son dead? I may not know my king, but I know there was an evil enchantment. Omudibi does not condone witchcraft and evil practice. 
or are you saying that someone is practicing evil and witchcraft in his or her closet? Whosoever that wants my son dead knows that my son is very close to my heart. So he or she is coming direct at me. I cannot speak what I don't know. But one thing I do know is that someone somewhere is having a secret agenda and the household must be careful. This is all I can say. Please, my king, I need not to emphasize on what I don't know. You speak with a lot of boldness, my child. But one thing I will tell you is that whosoever that practices evil or witchcraft in this kingdom will pay with his own blood. I know you are not just an ordinary child. There is more to you than you, you are standing before me just now. Father, that's exactly what I told her. Very soon, very, very soon, her true self will manifest. My daughter, go back to your mother, but don't hesitate to come and tell me if you find or notice anyone who is practicing evil or witchcraft in this kingdom. There is a lot I will have to do with you, but uh, time will tell. Go now. Greetings, my king. I take my leave. Hello, ma. What's the problem with you? Brother, do you know that the king summoned Undo, my friend? What did she do that the king have to summon her? Undo, I know it's not a bad person. Amazing. The only thing I could remember was when she told the prince about the evil that awaits him on his way to the stream and that he should return home. But then he refused, so. Uh, you don't have to bother yourself. Maybe the king just wished to question her. That's all. Don't bother yourself. And what if he asks for her head? Nothing of such will happen, okay? The king I know is not a bad person to kill an innocent girl. Huh? Look, okay. the gods favored me today. Hey, wow, this is a big catch. Okay. in one piece. What happened? Mother, I did not offend the gods or anyone in this land. A man who touches something with others melts his hand. I am not afraid because my hands are clean. <sighs> my child, it is right time you let go of this prophetic life of yours. I know you are a seer. Beth is dragging you to Amelie grave. Become one. It's right time you consider shutting your mind against any vision. Please. Mother, I did not make myself. The gods made me. I cannot change from who the gods have made me. And I'm not afraid because what I see or hear is what I shall say. Even at the detriment of your life? Mother, the gods take care of their own. Let's go inside. Hey! My 
bad, bad. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Good morning. Uh-huh. Good morning. Uh-huh. Good morning. May the gods bless you and the children. You say, you say. Good. And I, ha, this one that you are just standing before me this early. I hope all is well. Yes, uh, all is well. Huh. You see, all is well. I don't think uh, there's anything wrong me coming to see my late brother's family. Oh, no, no. Nothing is wrong. Bro. I don't say nothing. anything is wrong. But since after the burial of your, your brother, this is the first time, four months ago, this is the first time you are coming to this place. Mm. Uh -huh. Anyway, maybe it's because of uh, too much busy, you know, going up and down and all that, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. So, I've come to tell you that my farmland at uh, Ii Path, my family and I want to farm on that land this season. Ii Path? Yes. Your land or our own? It's my land. No, no. It's, it's my husband's land. I gave it to my brother, my little brother. It's my land. Nay, nay, don't start. If you gave it to my bro my, your brother, as you said, your brother should have told me that that land does not belong to him. Oh. But he didn't say anything like that. Okay, I see. In fact, I gave that land far back, long time ago before you were married into this family. Yeah, because we have been farming on that land. From the time I was married up till the time he died. So I don't know what you are saying. What I'm saying is that I want that land back. It's my land. Hmm? So I want you to tell your son to stop farming in that land. Uncle Ibe, uh -huh. you saw me in that farm this afternoon and you never mentioned the word. So why are you not talking about it? Are you trying to take what belongs to my father or what? Uh, Oka, that land really belongs to me, okay? And uh, for your information, I don't think I have any reason to argue with you this morning. I don't want to see you in that land. Yeah. Okay. Mama, the one who married you, Mama, you have, you have, Mama, you have, you have, you have, you have, you have, you 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 say, you say, I, 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 I am very stubborn. I, 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 Great hunter of our land. Morning. Where are you going to this morning? To your house. I want to go and see your sister. We have an important discussion. Oh. Uh, the discussion about what the king told you yesterday. Or something I should not bother myself with. Do not stress your mind. I am fine. Are you sure you're fine? Are you sure the king did not tell you something frightening yesterday? Do not bother about that. I'm only bothered about you. About me? How? What did the king say about me? Did the king mention my name? The judgment of men holds no water. But what the God says about you today is more important. And what did the God say about me today? I will advise that you go back home and rest. Because your daughter shall be in pain. Go back home and rest. <laughs> Are you saying the I, Obachi? I'm sure you don't know the meaning of my name. Obachi will not come back with a game today. <laughs> now listen. I know why Joe saw Dinta Awaji. I trust my gun. Now go home. 
I will present to you what I shall come back home with. Well, so be it your fate. May the gods be with you. And also be with you, my dear. Go home. I will see you when I come back. My legs are complete. And she do good. Well done, no. Why are you people insulting her? What did she do to you people? Please leave Yana before you incur the wrath of the gods upon yourself. You incur our own wrath. Are you referring to us? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You have luck today. Mm. Do you know that you have luck today? Mm. That we are in a very hey. good mood. If not, you have to carry me. Eh? What we would have done to you at that? This time. Mm. Mm. Let's go. We have hey. dancing to do. Sorry, okay. I don't have time for this girl. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Where are you headed? Never mind. I will be fine. Let me see you off to your house, please. No. It's my fate. I don't intend to share it with no one. Go home and rest from your day tussle. Thank you. To work on this farmland. Eh? Hey, stop, stop, stop yeah, it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I should be asking you what you are doing here. Yes. I remember that I told you that I don't want to see this your nasty food inside this farmland again. So, what are you doing here? Uncle okay. Ibe. Uncle Ibe. You are looking for trouble. You are looking for trouble. I don't want you to look as if I'm trying to disrespect you. But you and I know. That this land belongs to my father. My father has been working on this farmland even before I was born. I work with my father in this farmland. How come you are not claiming ownership of this land when well, you know fully well that this land belongs to my father? And now that my father is late, it belongs to me. Have you finished ranting? Don't listen to this demented fool. <laughs> Eh, uh, Oka, go away from here. Oka, should go away. Yes. Eh, hey, stop it! Stop! Stop it! Oka, stop distracting us. Oh. You are distracting us. You do not call us for work. Oh. It is much that called us for work. Now we are. Keep walking. Keep walking. Ah! I'm going Yes. You said I'm a demented fool. Yes. Me, Oka, a demented fool. For disturbing my. I will workers. show you how demented fool behave now. Just wait, wait. I'm coming. Come on, come on, come on, man. This is just, just the beginning. This is the beginning. 
the next time I will see you again in this family one. I swear, I will kill you and anybody who brings to this, to, to this land. Eh? What rubbish is this? What is it? Huh? Tell your mother now, what is it? Mama, huh? I wish Aguyi took my life instead of this humiliation I face. Everywhere I go to, people will to call me because of my disability. I wish you God uh, to just take my life. You shut up, shut up. You don't even say that. Do you want to incur the wrath of the gods on yourself? Mm. All you need to do is to pray to the gods to give you more blessings. Huh? And not to do say all that, no. My dear, I have always told you that behind every pain, there's always a wild smile. Huh? My baby, please, please, do not allow anybody to, to, to ridicule you or, or you fall into the ridicule, no. When people ridicule you, it is the, the gods, your own gods, that they are ridiculing. Mama, it's okay. Mama, okay, me. Mama, what is it again? Mama, Mama, okay, me. Mama, eh, what is it? Mama, oh, I swear in the name of the gods. Any day I see Uncle Ibe and his boys mm. on that farmland again, I will kill them. <laughs> So what really happened? Mama, eh? do you know that Uncle Ibe and his boys were already working on that farmland? Yeah. The grand man I had to chase them away. But next time, next time, the story will be different. What have we done to this man? Eh? Welcome, my children. The king wants to see every one of you at the palace now. What? For what? We will not entertain any question from you again. So. Follow us to the palace now. At least tell us what we have done uh -huh. before taking us to the Hey, shut palace. up. No other words from you. Let us go now. Keep this knife. Move now. Keep this knife. You. Go. God is in favor of you today. That question should be directed to her. This is the first time I return home without a game. Just as you predicted when I was heading to the bush. It is not by making that the gods did not favor you today. I mean, if only humans would see for the face of the gods before heading to their daily activities, this world would be a better place. Then why must it be today? Why it must be today that the gods choose not to favor me? Just because you have already bewitched my day. Do not say such words to me. I am not a witch. Oh, what more would you have me say? What more? What more would you have me say? Oh, but I you shouldn't have said that to her now. That was too harsh. She is a prophet of doom. She meant no harm. She is a prophet of doom. Oh! You have chased my friend now. 
Come can't even finish this game. If I hear one more word, I will turn you to my day meat, idiot. Come on, get her from there. Get me free. You can't even finish this game. Oh. Ah. Something that I'm hurting with now. You have come and you can't even finish this game. Bye. 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 Could you please tell us what happened in the presence of the accused person? Igwe, once again, I greet you. Yes. Some few days back, I went to my late brother's wife, Ikeid, to tell her that I want my land back. Igwe, because of the farming season, I've exhausted all other lands that I have to farm on. So I wanted to use that land. I went to tell her. Igwe, she did not say anything. Nothing. So I left. Even this morning, I called laborers, some able bodied young men, to come and help me clear the land. As they were walking, Oka appeared from nowhere. I started beating us. Igwe, he nearly killed me, if not for the gods that saved my life. Igwe, he did not stop there. He even went ahead to say, threaten my life. That if he sees my leg inside that land again, that he's going to kill me. He said it. Oka. Lies. Is that the truth? That land belongs to my father, not... My friend, will you shut up and answer the question? Igwe. Igwe, please, this said land belongs to my husband. My husband started farming on that land even before he got married to us. Hold it there. You will speak only when you are asked to do that. Igwe. Good. Oka. Your hands. Did you lay your hands on an elder of this land? Igwe, yes. But that was because he was trying to take what does not belong to him. You see, Oka, this land is known for discipline and uprightness. How dare you lay your hands on an elder of this land? If he has offended you, the palace is open for you to lay your report. But you took the laws into your hands and laid your hand on a member of my cabinet. Because of that alone, you deserve to be punished. Joe, my king. take him and flog him 25 Royal lashes. That's my king. But my king, that's a good justice. You shall not speak as well. Oh, shh. I will spare you because of your condition for once. But you will not have a second chance. Now, woman, how do you know that that land belongs to your late husband? Igwe. Igwe, that land belongs to my husband. Because he has been farming on this land even before he married me. He has been farming on this land. Igwe, if that wasn't his own, he would have told me because he is a truthful person. And why is it that his brother never came to ask for this land when he was alive? It's now that he's dead that he will come to, to ask for the land. And now Igwe, speak on you. Igwe. She has said the truth for once. I gave that land to my late brother a long time before she was married into the family. Now, there is the possibility, woman, that that land belongs to Mazi Ibe. And because of the actions of your son, that land now belongs to Mazi Ibe. And I don't want you 
to step into that land again. I have spoken, and so shall it be. Enough. Next time you think before you react. If you disobey my father by stepping your foot into that land again, I will personally banish you and make sure you cease to see the light of the day. Obi Abo. Nya! Nukuta! Obi Mpume! Yes, my prince. Free him and take him back to his family members at the palace. Yes, my prince. Mama, our life does not depend on that farm. Let Uncle Libe have the farm. If the gods can actually feed the sparrows, surely we must find what to eat. Brother, this thing has nothing to do with the gods. So. It has nothing to do with the gods. How can we just fold our arms and watch another man take what rightfully belongs to us? Never, 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 I would rather allow the, the, the tree of my, my life to wither than allow him step his foot on that land. The, the, let the heavens fall. Mama, Mama. Good 
because of my husband's forefathers. I seek vengeance. I seek justice. I know that you are a just God. That is why I am calling upon you to come and fight for the innocent. With a broken heart and a deserted spirit, do I cry, do I call you to come and proclaim justice to the, to the suppressed? Gods of my husband's ancestors, they have ganged up to come and take what rightfully belongs to me. I don't have anyone to speak for me. I don't have anyone to come and fight for me. But anyone except my children that stands their feet on this land shall face the wrath of the gods. Shall face the anger of the gods. So be it. Hey, woman, hold it there. Hold it there. Hey! Hey! What is that? Hey! Hey! So, you are planting this in my farmland so that whenever I come in here, I will drop and probably die. Hey. This is your evil plan. This is your evil plan. It has stopped. In fact, you are a witch. Nay, can you there say you, you don't know what, something about this? Can you cross your heart and say that? You are a witch. I am not a witch. A witch. I am you not a witch. a witch. I am not. I was you only... are an evil woman. I am not. I was only protecting what belongs to me. We will take you to the Igwe's palace. When we get there, Igwe will treat you the way witches are treated. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, I am not According a to our custom. And tradition. And tradition. Yes. So, let's go. Take along with me. You are going to talk to Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You are weak. Shut up. Let's go, Biko. I am not a witch. You are a witch. Are you be treated as one? Please be a witch. Let's go. Hey, this I, woman. I am not a witch. You are a witch. I am not a witch. Move. Let her be. What is her offense? I saw this woman on my way to go and see my friend planting juju in my farmland. My king, not only that, she has violated the order you gave to her that her fish should not be into that farmland of mine. This is what she was planting. Juju, when I saw her. She was doing this so that if I step into that farmland, I will die or something mysterious will happen to me. So she plotted on how to kill me. My king, I couldn't bear it, so I have to come with her here. She's a witch. A woman. Is that the truth? Your Highness. Your Highness, I am not a witch. I am not. I was only crying to the gods of our ancestors to come to my aid. That is not how I can just sit back 
and watch him take what belongs to me without even putting up a fight. <laughs> Disobedience is worse than witchcraft. Thank you, my king. You dare disobey my orders? That you should not step into that farmland? You disobeyed my orders. You went there to call on your ancestors? When I told you not to step into that farmland, for disobeying the orders of the king, you will be severely punished. Your Highness, Your Highness, please, show some mercy on my mother. She's the only one we have left. Your mother is a threat to my subjects. Yes, and please. I cannot overlook it. Yes. Go back to your homes. By sunrise, I will pass my judgment on her. My prince, please beg your father to set my mother free. Shut up. A commoner like you has no right to mention my name without permission. Your mother is lucky I'm not yet the king. I would have passed a harsh judgment on her here and now. You do not accommodate traitors. Joe. My king. Take her. Thank you, my prince. Please. Thank you. Your There is no sign of peace or mercy in his eyes. It's like the gods had left us. Our mother was accused wrongly. She's not a witch. Brother, we need someone that will stand by us. Mother was found with some diabolic content in her hands. And that's a concrete evidence to persecute her. Unfortunately, the only man that is supposed to be fighting for us is the same person seeking for our downfall. What shall be our fate by tomorrow morning? Only the gods have the answer to this question. Let us pray that our mother Find mercy from the king. My heart trembles. With my eyes, I behold the scene of the first coming calamity that will befall us. The painful yelling of the innocent going down to the bosom of a sepulchre. I plead for mercy. I plead that you restore peace and avert this evil from befalling us. Please do not turn your back on me. Hearken to the voice of your initiates. Peace. 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 Kingdom should be ready to face calamity if they do not consult the cause before passing a verdict on Jota's mother. The cry of a widow goes directly into the heart of the gods. 
The king and the elders should be careful not to incur the wrath of the gods. My daughter, it is the gods that instructed their mediator to tell the king that anyone caught practicing any kind of witchcraft should be punished. It is their wish. Or have you not heard the saying that says, Suffer not the witch to live. If the gods find her innocent, then, then we set her free. Mother, a just judgment should come from a sound mind, not one filled with hate. <sighs> nee. I hope that they will not accuse you of being a witch one day. Because you behave like one being possessed by an evil spirit. It is said that every work has a reward. Whatsoever a man sows, that he shall also reap. There is reward for good deeds and also rewards for evil deeds. A few days back, there was an evil attack on the life of my son, the prince. That same evil attack took away the life of one of my guards. I offered sacrifices to the gods, pleading with them to show me who is responsible. And you know, the gods of our land are wise. They have their own unique way of answering prayers. This woman here carried out an evil act. She wanted to kill Mazibe here. Because Mazibe asked for the land he gave to his late brother. I ordered that she should not step into that land anymore. That that land belongs to Mazibe. But she went to that land, stepped into the land, disobeyed my orders. And went there to plant evil. So that Mazibe will step into the land and die. But the gods of our land are wise. Mazibe himself caught her in the act of trying to bury evil in the land. Um, my elders, shall we allow such an evil woman to live in our midst? No, 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 not at all. No, 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 no. My mother is not an evil woman. She's innocent. Will you shut up? I will be kind with the children. If not for my kindness, I would have ordered that the entire family be wiped out. But her death will send a message to everyone who wants to practice the act of witchcraft and evil conduct in this land. And with this, I will eradicate witchcraft and evil practice. I am not evil. I am not evil. The gods know that I have never partook in any evil. I was only crying to the gods to fight for me since everyone believed that Mazibe is right. No one wants to listen to my cry. 
But... <coughs> but... If it is... <coughs> the will... Of the gods... That I shall die... In this way... So be it. Enough. Enough, woman. Your words... No longer mean anything to me. Now, this is my judgment. She will be taken and set ablaze. Igwe! 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 I, Zakuma the second, have passed my judgment. I seal it this day with the seal of the royalty. And so shall it be. Igwe, Igwe, please spare my mother. Igwe, please. My elders. Please. Please, 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 my mother cannot die now, please. Igwe, please. The prince and the heir to this throne will be the one to set her a place. Please, please. Hey, stop here. Please, have mercy on my mother. Please, I beg you. My prince. Sida. My king. Take her. Hey, no. Take her. 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 Evil. Evil. Begets evil. 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 Begets evil. No town, no town, no community.
I stand on the seal of my father, the king, to fulfill this obligation. This shall sound as a clear warning to anyone trying to practice witchcraft or evil in Umudibi. We do not Accommodate traitors. Obi Abo. Nya, no puto bim ume. Yes, my prince. Our life is nothing before those in power. They see us and treat us like animals so long as it favors them and makes them powerful than others. We have no one to talk to. The only one we have now is the gods. We have lost everything. Even our lives are at risk. They passed an unjust judgment on our mother that led to her death.
Where are you headed to? Chota, 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 My prince, you are cold and you have not even laid hands on your meal. What is the problem? Father, I lost my appetite. I just took someone's life. Son, it takes a real man to sit on the throne of this land. I know exactly how you feel. I felt the same way too the day I took a man's life. Father, so you have taken someone's life too? Yes. I felt worse than you feel. And son, you are lucky. Yours was on a platter. Mine was on the battlefield. My father laid a battle to capture the king of Mutango. And they brought him out. My father ordered that I should behead him in the presence of his wives and children. And son, I had no other choice than to obey my father. My son, you have to be ready to take drastic decisions as the king of this land when the time comes. They may not like your judgments, but you must blank your heart, put fear in them in order to obtain their respect and the respect of your subjects. Father, are you sure that woman was guilty? Guilty or not guilty, the deed is done and nothing can change it. You must be strong. How is the mother? The girls are faithful. Okay. Um, I searched for you at the village square when the witch woman was set ablaze by the prince at the verdict of the king and his seal. I was meaning to ask if the gods did not reveal to you that she has been the one bewitching people and killing them. I even heard she was the one that took her husband's life. I know nothing about that. Even if I tell you that the woman is innocent, you will not believe me. You still doubt me. 
So, why trying to force words out of my mouth? Well, our king is a wise man. Yes, he's a wise king. The gods bless him with wisdom. How I wish I am the king of this land. I would have asked that her children should be set ablaze alongside with her. Yes. But in the king's wisdom, he freed them. Yes. I wish you understand how horrifying an innocent blood could be. You will not utter this word. Pride is the main tool that can bring down every kingdom. And don't forget, anyone who fetches ants infected firewood invites lizards for a feast. Please, I came to look for my friend if she's going to this room with me. Hey, my friend! <laughs> to think that I was even coming to check up on you. Okay, you know what? Hold on, while I get my water can. <coughs> Okay. Hey, brother. Yes. We get to the stream. Uh, make sure you return home, Abby. Okay. And uh, no. I hope the gods will favor me today. So be it to you as you wish. Hey, <laughs> you succeeded in bewitching me the other day. You will not succeed today. Yes.
my king, may the gods reward you for your good gesture and uh, understanding. Your wisdom is next to none in all human creation. And it takes the direction of the gods for you to pronounce the judgment without second thought. I have come to show an appreciation that if not for you, I would have lost what is mine to my brother due to my own kindness. You see, uh, friendship is the act of standing there for each other when the need arises. I am just reciprocating your good deeds all this while. Moreover, the woman was found guilty. Thank you, my king. That was a demonstration of my happy heart to you. And that all the days of your life on this throne shall be filled with wisdom. So, and I'm also here to let you know that the first harvest on that land we brought to you here. Enough. Enough, my good friend. You have done enough already. May the gods bless the works and the labors of your hand. He said, Very good friend. Thank you, my king. Goddess of the rivers, arise to the cry of your initiate. Arise to the supplication of a broken heart. Thou goddess of the rivers, before every creation, you were here. Your womb begot light. In your womb, darkness springs forth. Kind you are to all creation. And in your presence, all men appear equal. 
I seek for your presence, thou goddess of the rivers. This is what is left of my mother. Injustice has taken over her life. Before everyone, she was accused of witchcraft. Empower me, thou goddess of the rivers. I seek for vengeance. Empower me to avenge her death. Thou goddess of the rivers, please don't hide your face away from me. Show yourself forth. Thou goddess of the rivers, show yourself forth. Welcome, great queen mother of Njaba. I reference your presence, queen of Njaba. Thou daughter of Ugonta, I have heard your cries and I am here to tell you. You seek for power to avenge your mother's death, but it will cost you an awesome price. You shall serve me and all your subjects. I shall serve you all the days of my life, and my generation, yet unborn, shall be subjected to your obligation, and your ordinances shall we keep forever. You speak with so much anger and frustration. You shall be there with me till the sun rises. Only then shall you be powerful. I will do as you have spoken my queen. My sister has never left this house without telling me where she's going to. Ha, huh, Chetana. Wherever you are, may the gods of our forefathers protect you. You shall go and come back in peace. Spare no one that crosses your path. Inflict pain on those that made mockery of you. Avenge your mother's death. On this day I bestow unto you powers beyond your imaginations. Whatsoever you set your mind on, it surely belongs to you. Go and make disciples of my kingdom and merchandise the supremacy of my powers because you are now unstoppable.
Yesterday is gone. You will suffer till death. Have you been all this while? I searched for you in the entire village and you were nowhere to be found. This is the new me. It is time for vengeance. Chata, Chata, where did you pass the night? It is of no use to you. I am better than I was yesterday. not for the fact that she's the only one in this condition in this entire village I would have asked myself where is my real sister what is going on I'm so confused she even came with a new walking stick of our land. Ijoma! Ijoma! What is wrong with you, Ijoma? Ijoma! 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 Surprise. Are you not supposed to sing or know what is wrong with them? Help them now. Please, my husband. When I left, I left them. Help me. I need to come back and find them. Lying like left, left. Please help me. Please. Please help me. Hey. Hey. I can't do anything. I have no solution. Apologies, ma. What do you mean you can't do anything? I have every conviction that you know what happens to those children. Are you going to watch them die like that? I don't know what's happened to them. Why are you trying to force words out of my mouth? Even the gods will not forgive you if you refuse to help those children. Those children are innocent. From my experience, that was a spell casted on them. It's a spell. You are gifted with vision. Why are you refusing to help them? 
and who says they are innocent. Please, Oba, let this be the very last time you stop me against my wish. Don't push me. I have no solution to that problem. And please, don't try to stop me again. No, this, this will be wickedness if you refuse to help these children. No. We shall offer our sacrifice to the gods of our land before planting into Mother Earth in order to expect bountiful harvest at the end of the season. Young girl, how dare you walk into the palace without fear of death? A palace that has lost its glory. I am here to inform every one of you that I am risen to take revenge and no one will stop me. Are you not uh, the daughter of Ugunta, the wish woman who was born to life? You succeeded in killing my mother, and now it's your turn to go down. I will be the next to sit on that throne, and you will not dare to stop me. I shall rule over every one of you, and no one will stop me. That is my simple message. Stop right there. How dare you barge into my palace to threaten me? I see you no longer love your life. He that think he stands should take heed lest he falls. I am I'm your destruction and your end is near. Gods! Oh, no, let her be. Let her be. I will make her death more painful than that of her mother. Little common peasant girl. Greetings, my prince. You should know that it's wrong to keep a prince waiting. My prince, the palace seeks for protection, mother is seeking for me. What have you seen this time? Go now. What is wrong with him? No one knows the answer to this. One physically challenged maiden came here a few minutes ago 
with a threat that she will overtake the throne. After she had left, we discovered that he has been struggling with his life. Does that mean she is responsible for this? I'm sure she is. But my question is, how can someone in such condition bring down the palace guard? Where does she live? She is the daughter of Ugunta, the witch woman who was born alive. Uh, she is the one threatening the throne of this kingdom. She must be stopped. I shall be right back, Father. Gods, follow me. Whoever that lives here should present his or herself, else I will set this place ablaze. You won't even dare. Not even in your next life. I see you as a sheep that just walked into his place of slaughter. Are you aware that you are standing before the crown prince of this land? And I can tell my guards to behead you here and nothing will happen. Yet again, you speak of death. Before everyone in this kingdom, you set my mother ablaze. And you have the gods to come in here and talk of death again? I will spare your life this time because I want you to feel the same pain I felt when you killed my mother. But before a blink of my eyes, <clears throat> I want you out of here. Else! Else what? I can see you are suffering from accumulated grudge. But I am not here to exchange words with you. You will follow us to the palace and revive whatever you did to that guard. Immediately. Not even a host of your guards can move me out of here. I promise not to touch you. But don't push me. Leave here now. All right then. Obi Abo. Nya. Nukuto Bimbume. Yes, my prince. Move her. Yes, my prince. Nya. Obi Abo. Obi Abo. You get her. You move her. Get now. That's my place. Get her. I said, get her. My words now. Hey, 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 my words, uh, I give you all 10 seconds to leave this place, else I will destroy you! Huh? Uh, Cheta! Hey. Oh. Leave now! Cheta! 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 Chetana! Cheta! Cheta! That was an extraordinary display of power. How did you do it? It is time to pay them back in their own coin. 
What have you done? Let it not be that you have tread on the path of evil. It is not in your place to seek for vengeance. Let the gods fight for us. You have just spoken like a fool. Only a coward runs away from battle, casting his hope on the gods. Great men and women face challenges and come out victorious. It is time to face them all. Cheta, what did you do? I just got myself ready for the battle ahead. They will all lick the dust of my feet.